been told that your little one has neurological scoliosis? Wondering, what is that? And what can you do to help your little one? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to talk about neurological scoliosis. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of little ones and we help them move better. One of the key things we do when we see a little one who comes in with complaints of movement patterns or low back pain is we always look at their spine. So when we see little ones with cerebral palsy or acquired brain injuries, we would always monitor their spine to make sure that it is still growing straight. Now, a neurological scoliosis is a condition whereby a child starts to develop scoliosis in their spine so they start to go left to right or they might curve and twist you know and also sort of hunch forwards or backwards based on the movement that is pulling their spine the most and that can happen if a child has hemiplegic cerebral palsy or an acquired brain injury, meaning that an event happened and they had a head injury that affects one side of their body. So in cerebral palsy, whereby half your body is affected, you might have a stronger side and a weaker side. Because of that, you use that stronger side all the time. So over time, it pulls and twists your spine. So your child starts to have a little bit of a curvature left to right, and sometimes it's front to back as well. So we've seen children who have very severe lordosis, curvature in the lower back, a very, you know, kyphotic front, and they might be all twisted around at the same time. Now, what can we do about it, you're wondering? The main cause of neurological scoliosis is because of this muscle imbalance. So the first thing we would do here at My Favorite Physio is we would release those muscle tightness and try to even it out. So we do that with radio shockwave therapy. So many of our little ones, we would do radio shockwave therapy to their back muscles and in their arms and legs that are tighter and that's pulling to one side or stronger that's overworked on the other. The second thing we would do is we would be getting them a customized outfit like this. It's called a DMO. And what it is, is really it's a dynamic orthosis garment. So it really is customized for every child. We would correct any sort of rotation we see in their body. We would strengthen what is weak. We would correct it so that their spine is now in a straighter alignment, helping the weaker muscles hold them up better and make sure we counter the stronger muscles that's pulling them in the opposite direction. Wearing this under their clothes, they could wear it up to eight hours a day and be walking with that posture and learning movement patterns in a right posture. So the third thing we do is we help them move better. That means building core muscle strength, back muscle strength, teaching them to walk with the right muscles at the right time. If we need to, um, you know, increase range of motion in some joints, so if they're arm or their leg or their foot is you know contracted up and their bones are in a different position we would correct it with casting we would correct it with splinting on their hands and wrists so that they learn to be straighter and to learn to use the weaker side correctly so using that three key approaches we're able to actually correct and prevent the neurological scoliosis from getting worse because ultimately, if you have too much of a curvature in your spine, they may require surgery to correct that. And we want to prevent surgery from happening. So if you're out there and you've been told that your little one has a neurological scoliosis developing, don't wait till it gets so bad that you need surgery. What you should do is go proactive. Ring us here at My Favorite Physio. Speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists Find out what we can do to help your little one improve their spine and their posture and prevent surgery for neurological scoliosis. The number to ring here at My Favorite Physio is 02 
And if you know somebody out there who has a little one who's starting to look a little bit twisted in their spine because of neurological scoliosis, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a great day. Bye.